It's Super Bowl Sunday. I am Brent Cook, and we are playing the Riddler in Legacy with brand new card from Phyrexia All Will Be One, Vindictive Flame Stoker, a one mana, one two Phyrexian wizard with a lot of text on it. So bear with me. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, you put an oil counter on this creature. You can pay six and a red, sacrifice the Vindictive Flame Soaker, discard your hand, draw four cards, and it costs one less for each oil counter on it. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, so the idea here is that in this deck, we play a lot of zero mana artifacts to enable Riddlesmith, which says whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Okay. Well, then we combine that with Containment Construct. So this is a deck with a lot of moving pieces. It's a two mana, one, two creature construct. Whenever you discard a card, exile it and tuck it underneath containment construct. Instead, you may play that card this turn. Sweet. So this is another creature to add on to that. So this discards your hand, which those cards would then go underneath containment construct so you can still play them and you get the draw four. So we play a lot of free spells to enable Riddlesmith. So that way its cost is reduced and then it synergizes with the other half of the combo so we get to keep everything so essentially it's one red draw four that's very good in this deck so that's why we're playing vindictive flame stoker i think it's going to be a pretty good idea in general with this deck we are a lion's eye diamond deck with echo of aeons so we're looking to abuse that powerful combo this deck is not playing the mycosynth gardens this is a list that went 5-0 from magic online user killa b and is a donation deck from our good friend, Sean Dagnan. Sean, I'm really sorry if I keep on butchering your last name. You got to correct me if I'm wrong. But thank you, Sean, for this sweet donation doc. We've played it a couple times here on the channel before. If you're interested, go check out those videos. But today we're playing the brand new card, Vindictive Flame Stoker. So as I mentioned with Vindictive Flame Stoker, discarding your hand is actually a benefit. So Breakthrough, for example, is one blue draw four as long as you have a containment construct. Something new to the deck that I actually love is Ox of Agonis. So you can gamble for this and it would go straight to the graveyard, assuming that you don't really have a whole lot going on. And then you can pay red, red, discard your hand, which works with containment construct and then draw three. So it's a gamble target that isn't echo that really helps us out. And I think that this is just wonderful tech from Killaby. Um, I think that covers most of the main deck in the sideboard. I'll be honest. I'm not the deck builder here, so I don't really understand all of these cards, but this seems a little all over the place and it's not really the way that I like to build my cyborgs. Uh, one silence, one chain of vapor, one brain freeze. I have to imagine that this is for doomsday or a backup win condition. Uh, it loses the veil unlike the main deck grape shot. So I don't know. Um, it's probably mostly for doomsday. We have one slaughter packed for initiative. One Noxious Revival. I have to imagine Noxious Revival and the Grindstone are both for the Painter matchup. These are both cards for there. We have one Haywire Might, which works with our Mox Opals. One Surge Note. This is for Chalice of the Void, so you can tick up the Chalice. So you can put it from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 2, that sort of thing. One Defense Grid, one Walking Ballista. A lot of this feels a little bit cute. To me, I mean, I'm not trying to bash Killaby here. They might have rationale for all of this stuff, but from an outsider looking in, I think that this cyborg could probably be optimized a little bit more. Um, and I'm gen in general, I'm just not a big fan of like the gotchas. I think that the gotchas work for a little bit, but like if your painter opponents just look you up on Magic Online and you have a grindstone in your board, they're not going to pass with painter. Um, and I'm just, I'd rather just play better cards overall than gotcha cards, but we'll see how it goes today. Once again, this is not a knock against Kayla B. They're a terrific player. They do very well all the time, but I am just not a fan of that style, that style of strategy. That's all I'm trying to say here. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Sean, once again, thank you for the donation deck. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see all of you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck 
via theepicsfirm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one, we are on the play. We have a whole bunch of artifacts. I think we keep this. So we don't have Riddler, we don't have Containment Construct, and we don't have the Vindictive Flame Stoker. What we do have is Gamble for Echo of Aeons, and I think that's worth keeping. We won't be casting Echo on the first turn, but we can almost guaranteed play it on the second turn. Mishra's Bobble. Mishra's Bobble. Mox Opal. Hers is Bobble. Player Ancient Tomb. And now we have 50-50 odds of discarding the Echo of Aeons to Gamble. Grab an Echo. And we did discard it. Sweet. And our opponent's upkeep will look at their top card. It's an animate dead, so they're on reanimator. Blue black reanimator by the looks of it. Okay. We'll draw off the bobble. There's a saga. That's a good one. We'll play the saga. That triggers. Play Urza's bobble. Let's flashback echo. They mulligan to five very aggressively. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a force here. And they do. Pitching days. Okay. We will pass the turn. We know that they have an animate dead in hand. No end step in tomb. Main phase a brainstorm. Fluted delta. They sacrifice it. And they thought seize me. Not very nice. Oh, they're thought seizing themselves. So they have animate dead left in their hand. Interesting. Let's use a bobble. Careful study. I'm going to try to cash in this turn. I'm going to use all the bobbles. Okay. One, two, three. Draw. Ox of Agonis. Saga goes to two. We'll play Defense Grid, which they are a force of will. Dakatrox is going to draw them a bunch of cards. It makes sense to me. Play the Ancient Tomb. We'll activate Urza Saga in our main phase to make a construct. That enables Mox Opal. So I could play the Flame Stoker here. Yeah, I'm going to play the Flame Stoker. I think it's probably better than just discarding my hand to the breakthrough. Animate Dead happens. The Atroxa will trigger. Our opponent gets to look at the top 10 cards of their deck and put a card of each type to their hand. So they found a Grief, so they can discard Breakthrough or the Ox. They play a land for turn, Lotus Petal. There's the Grief pitching enemy dead. They're probably going to take the breakthrough here, which is fine because we can use the Urza Saga to search out Lion's Eye Diamond to put Ox to the graveyard. Okay, we'll take a draw step. Riddle Smith. Let's tap the Urza Saga for Colorless. I don't know what their last card in hand is, but something we could do here is just... Grab the Aether Spellbomb, which I didn't consider previously, or else I would have made another Construct. I don't hate it. I kind of regret not making another Construct now. They have two cards in hand. I believe it's in... It's either like Daze or Brainstorm. They pitch the enemy dead to the Grief. Are we more likely to win by going all in on this Ox? I think the answer is no, so let's just get the Spellbomb. Once again, if I had thought of this prior to letting the Saga activate, I would have made another Construct. So this is a little bit on me here. And by a little bit, I mean entirely on me here. Okay, and now we can attack for four. In general, like, I actually plan on recording this deck. So the deck that we're facing took second in the Legacy Challenge yesterday. It's a lovely deck. Uh, nothing against it. Ooh, the Careful Study. We actually knew about that. So they're looking for another reanimate effect here. Um, because I forgot that that was the top card that we looked at. They have two in hand. They found reanimate. That's brutal. Okay. Um, but in general, I don't think Atroxa is as good of a target as Gristlebrand is. And people are really high about this new card right now. But I do think Gristlebrand is just a better card overall. Damn, I wish I would have remembered about the careful study. I, I When I was looking at it, I started at the double animate dead up here, completely forgetting about the careful study. We play another grief. Goodbye, Riddle Smith. 
There's only two grief in the deck, so they found both copies of grief. We want to draw lines at diamond. The Lotus Petal. In Tomb. They pick up an Archon of Cruelty. They don't use it. We'll take a draw. The Lotus Petal allows me to hard cast the Ox here. Okay, so the Flame Stoker gets a counter. Tap this for red, sacrifice the Lotus Petal. We'll have a colorless floating. We'll hard cast the Ox. Come on, Lion's Eye Diamond Deco. Not quite. Play a Bobble. And actually, we're dead on board to the Archon of Cruelty, assuming that they have a way to reanimate it. We have to pass here. Bobble them in their upkeep. They reveal Brainstorm. The Atroxa gets in. They go to 11, we go to 3, and like I mentioned, our kind of cruelty is lethal here. Careful study. There it is. That's the ball game. Okay, so now we can go to the post board. I could have played that better. That's on me. I think we want the fourth grid. We're interested in ley line. Noxious Revival is like a pseudo answer to them, so I think we might want that. Okay, what to take out here? 66 cards is a lot. I can't but wonder if we're just supposed to board out some bobbles. And it seems crazy, but like, they're a synergy card when we're just trying to make sure that they can't win. I also think that it probably can't hurt to board out a land. And I wonder if that land should be Urza Saga or the island. I think it's the island. I'm going to get rid of the Noxious. Like, the Noxious Revival is fine, but we're already boarding in a lot. On the play. Sure, we'll keep. This hand's very good. Play Line of the Void enters. So it's worth noting that our opponent's deck does have four copies of Show and Tell in the sideboard. I don't know if those were boarded in or not. And they only have a single copy of Chancellor of the Annex. They happen to have it in their opening hand. We did not bring in an, an answer to the Chancellor. We'll pay the tax there. Yes. Mishra's Bobble. Pass the turn. I'm going to keep the Mishra's Bobble around because we want it for Metalcraft purposes to get this defense grid into play. And that does give us Metalcraft. So now we'll play the Bobble. Defense grid. That resolves. You'll love to see it. Okay, I didn't bobble because they have a fetch land. I was expecting them to fetch and they didn't. Main phase brainstorm. Okay. They play a swamp and entomb. This card is going to get exiled directly to the ley line of the void. They remove a dance of the dead from their deck. Look at their top card. Days. We're going to cash in both bobbles here. The Urza Saga is getting it a Lines of Diamond, so the Opal will have Metalcraft. Draw for turn. Another Opal. We will tap for mana. Go get the Diamond like I mentioned. Tap here. We'll play the Containment Construct. Opal. Keep the new one. And then we will cast Breakthrough. We will discard six cards. We want to put everything that isn't the echo underneath. So the first one's the echo. We're going to say no. And then yes to the rest. All right. We will add three red. Let's gamble. Which just ends up being one red demonic tutor here. We'll get another copy of Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Now we can play the Lion's Eye Diamond. Storm is four. Add three blue. And now we'll spin the wheel on Echo. Storm is six. Lions at Diamond. Whoops. I messed up there. My bad. I was supposed to play the Riddlesmith first. Lotus Petal. Triggers. Yes. Discard. Riddlesmith. Okay, they're just going to concede instead. Sweet. Submit. Unlike Black Red Reanimator, Blue Black is a lot slower. There's no unmask, so they can't unmask themselves to target themselves for a really quick creature. There's no so that doesn't that's not in there. There's no dark ritual. It does have lotus petal, but dark ritual is really the card that does it because it allows you to cast both in tomb and a reanimate spell. 
Um, it's just worth pointing that out. They kept seven. This isn't even that good of a hand. I think we can do better. Speaking of better, we will keep and get rid of a breakthrough. Also, there's only two copies of Thoughtseize. There's just very few ways for this deck to have that explosive turn one. Island, Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal. And they pass. We'll take a draw. Echo of Vans is a good one. Well, Players of Saga. Fisher's Bobble. Lines of Diamond. And we're going to, you know, take a breath here. We don't necessarily need to Echo on the first turn. Fisher's Bobble. Reanimate. Okay. Main Phasey Brainstorm. We'll draw off Bobble. Saga will go up to two after that. So we drew another copy of Breakthrough. Tap this and sacrifice the pedal. We'll play Containment Construct. Which is met by Force Will pitching Careful Study. We're going to just pass here. So you could jam the Echo, but there are a four days deck. And I don't want to play our Echo into days. Another Brainstorm. They have two cards in hand. Uh-oh. They have it. Here's the Atroxa. That's not good for me. Forcible, but no blue card. Okay. So that means that we can echo on our turn. I have to imagine they're going to cast Thoughtseize, which doesn't really matter. Goodbye, Breakthrough, that we probably weren't casting anyway. Draw. We drew an Opal. We'll tap. Go search out another copy of Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll play the opal. There's no need to cast the breakthrough here. So we're going to add red, blue, blue. Flashback the echo. Five mana floating. I wonder if I should try to beat with the containment construct first. Because if they force a will one of these, I'd rather they force a will containment construct. And they do. Sweet. Pitching force of will. I'm going to play the Saga here, which might seem a little bit odd, but it'll, it does allow me to play around double days. Maybe that's being silly. They pitched another force. They don't have double days. What am I, what am I kidding here? There we go. Play a Lion's Eye Diamond. And now we got a Riddle Trigger. Yes. Discard the Bobble. Play Saga. We'll play the Construct. Yes. Get rid of Rid. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Put Bobble underneath. Yes. We'll play the Bobble. Come on, Duck. Put the Breakthrough underneath. Yes. Throw Mox. Beautiful. No. No imprint. Blue, red, spin the wheel on Echo from 11. And there's the grape shot. Boom! My misplays in game one did not come back to haunt me. Lotus Petal. Okay. We'll play the diamond. Turn an opal. This opal is free to play. Our other opals tapped is what I mean by that. Discard this. It might seem silly. I could cast the Grape Shot here. But I am waiting to see if we can hit a defense grid. There's no reason to just like keep on playing into a possible Fluster Storm or something, right? We'll play the Vindictive Flame Speaker. I'm glad that we got to play that card in the first match. So now we have two triggers. One of them is an Oil Trigger with a Grape Shot underneath. Containment Construct, yep. And our opponent's allowed to concede at any time now. We've run out of artifacts. We'll cast Breakthrough from hand. Breakthrough. Discard everything. We'll just say yes a whole bunch. Add triple red. We will gamble. And this deck does have Foster Storm in the board, by the way, which is why I'm making this move. And now we'll play the defense grid. Yes, discard another gamble. Lovely. Grid. 
grid resolves, and now we can just finish the game with creep shot. Boom. This is how we do. Click, click, boom. While your name is almost omniscient, you are almost dead. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Match number one goes to us. Round two is coming up in just a moment. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Time for match number two. We are on the play. Sure. I guess we keep this. They have kept as well. We'll play turn one saga. Lions at diamond. Let's add some blue. Flashback. And it resolves. Sweet. Okay. Play lotus petal. Going to sacrifice the petal for a riddle smith. Play a mox opal, trigger the riddle smith. Yes. Discard the oxvagonus. Pass the turn. Tropical island into noble hierarch. So this is probably a natural order atroxa deck. Vindictive flame stoker. Play containment construct, which will trigger our riddle smith. Yes. I think we get rid of the Flame Stoker, unfortunately. No, let's keep it. We'll get rid of the Construct. Also, I don't know if you've heard, I'm an aggro deck. Pass. Main phase Brainstorm off of the Noble Hierarch. Windswept Teeth. They have six in hand. Draw for turn. It's an Opal. Um, I'm not actually interested in a Construct here. I'm just going to tap for mana. They're fetching in response. Sure. We'll grab a Lion's Eye Diamond, and our Opal is now active. Let's play Defense Grid. Actually, hold on. Let's play the Vindictive Flame Speaker. Okay. Now we'll tap for two. Defense Grid floating one. We have a couple triggers here. Ice Fang Quaddle. Sure thing. Preset Storm Count. Yes, I would like to draw and discard. We'll get rid of an Ancient Tomb. Auto yield to that. Yes. Auto yield here. And now the Defense Grid. We'll play Ancient Tomb for our land for turn. We'll cast another copy of Mox Opal. Get our triggers in. Yes. Discard the Bobble. Yes. Now we'll play Bobble. Trigger, trigger. Discard Spell Bomb. Now we have Bobble there. We'll add Triple Red. I don't want to put the Ancient Tomb underneath here. Because we need cards to escape to the Ox. It requires eight other cards. We can use the Bobble here. There's the natural order on top of their deck. So that gives me eight. I need one more card in Graveyard. So I'm going to play this Aether Spell Bomb. Get my triggers in. Yes. No, I, I don't want to flash that back. And now we will draw a card off this. Formod Script. We'll play that. We're in a very good spot at the moment. Discard Containment Construct. Um, we have 11. We can probably tuck that under there. And our opponent is conceded. Nice. Good deal. So we're facing a Natural Order Atroxa deck. What to do? Probably want the fourth defense grid. I have to imagine they're probably a Collector Roof deck, so let's bring in Chain of Vapor. Maybe the Slaughter Pact. Get rid of the Tormod Script. I'm kind of tempted to bring an empty here. Maybe the Haywire might. That's 64 cards, which is a lot. 
I'm sure like somebody that's better at this deck like Killaby would disagree with my sideboarding, and I think that's okay. But I'm going to get rid of the bobbles. I don't think we're looking to be explosive. I think we're just looking to have good cards in our deck. Could also get rid of the Chromoxin, maybe. Bring back a couple copies of Bobble. Do I hate that? No, I think that's fine. Let's try this. I think that this is not a great Chromox deck anyway. Double Saga. They've taken a mulligan to six. I mean, this hand just, like, doesn't really do anything that meaningful. Like, we have Gamble for Echo with the Lion's Eye Diamond off Saga, but it's slow. And we don't have Defense Grid to protect it either. I think we're going to ship it. This hand is just unplayable. We'll go to five. Better. Both players on five cards. We'll get rid of the Flame Stoker and a Saga. Burn Catacombs. Tropical Island. Noble Hierarch. They have three in hand. Take a draw. Wow. That was a very good draw. Holy moly. Play the Petal. Mox Opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Defense Grid. And now we'll gamble for Echo. That was such a good rip. Flashback for Triple Blue. Spin the wheel. I think we're supposed to pass here. Our opponent will have three mana next turn for Defense Grid via Noble Hierarch. I'm also concerned about Collector Oof, but if we get to untap without our opponent playing Oof, we're in a very, very good spot. Wooded Foothills. And now they're just passing. We drew another copy of Riddlesmith. Play the Ancient Tomb. Hmm. Let's start on Diamond. Let's see what happens there. If they force this, that's honestly not a big deal. And now we'll tap for blue. Attempt Riddlesmith. See if this resolves. They're going to fetch. And cast Force of Will. Okay. That is what we wanted to happen. They pitched another copy of Force. We'll add three blue. Flashback Echo. Floating a blue. Storm four. I think here we just play another copy of Defense Grid. By playing another copy of Defense Grid here, we make sure that Force of Vigor has to be cast the hard way. And any future counter magic drawn will not be effective. Maybe I was supposed to play the Bobble. Yeah, I was probably supposed to play the Bobble. I was too antsy. Probably should have played that there. I think just cycling the bobble would have been better. I wasn't thinking. It's not an easy deck to play. There's a lot of decisions. They play a basic island. Eureka. Okay. Well, I guess I can make up for my bobble misplay now. A little surprised by the Eureka. Multiple copies of Atroxa. That's funny. <laughs> Eureka. That's so cool. I mean, I don't know how good it is, but it's really cool. So now they get to use the top. They get to put the top 20. They get to use the attracts ability twice. So they look at the top 20 and they get to put a card of each type there. So this is the first. And then the next 10. They are a green sun deck, so they could have had collector roof. But not in the cards revealed here. Actually, they reveal the lotus petal. So the petal into green sun works let's undo the uh no i don't have anything can you cast green sun for x i don't know if you can okay we might just be dead here they play a brainstorm they could have drawn 14 and didn't do you have a way to kill me this turn that's the question another copy of atroxa sure thing force of will natural order Ice Fang. I don't see a Collector Roof yet. Or a Force of Vigor for my defense grids. Sure, you have an Ice Fang. There's a way to kill me. Okay. Yep, you got it. Alright, so now we know a little bit more about their deck. They're not just a Natural Order deck. We can get rid of the Haywire Might and the Empty. Those aren't cards we want here. I don't know how good Silence is. I still think I want I may want Slaughter Pact for Oof, but I'm not sure. We didn't actually see an Oof. Maybe it's better as Bobble 3. We'll just have the Chain plus Grape Shot. That might be a little risky, though. Try this, I guess. On the play for Game 3. Yeah, this is great. Keep. 
Ancient Tomb into Containment Construct. The results will play Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. Opal. That for a red gamble. We get Defense Grid. Auto Yield. Yes. Sacrifice this Lion's Eye Diamond for red. Yes. We'll play Grid. The Force of Will Defense Grid. Okay. Sure. Gamble. We will grab an Echo of Aeons. We'll say no to this one. Sacrifice Diamond for triple blue. Play Echo. Echo resolves. And we are forced to pass the turn. Tropical Island. And they pass. Take a draw. I don't think Saga is actually what we want here. I'm going to play out Ancient Tomb to avoid Daze. And just play Grid. They brainstorm in response. Grid. That resolves our Opal is now active. We will play Riddlesmith. And Spellbomb. The Riddlesmith triggers. Yes. We'll discard the Echo. And say no. Get in for two. Pass the turn. They do have Lotus Petal in their deck, so their deck is capable of show and tell into Omniscience into Broken Card here. Ancient Tomb? Okay, so they don't even need the Petal now. They just have show and tell. We'll put into play the Vindictive Flame Stoker. Or should I put into play the Island for the Spell Bomb? I think that might be the move. For Genitus. Okay, sure. Turn off the Auto Yields. I'm going to cycle the spell bomb. Regenitus, I don't think is going to be good enough, but we'll see. Draw card. That was a good one. Okay, so... How do we want to do this? I think playing the Vindictive Flame Soaker is actually a trap here. I think we should lead on Breakthrough. Like, while Flame Soaker is good, if the Breakthrough misses on mana... Okay, and our opponent just concedes. Sweet. All right, so we are now two and zero. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three and we're on the play. Okay, so we have a reasonable hand here. I think we keep this. It's a little bit slow, but I think it's fine. So we're just going to lead off on turn one saga trigger past the turn. Maybe it's not slow. This is actually a turn two. Ignore me. What do I know? We're facing Painter. Okay. Let's play another Saga. Auto Yield. Bobble. They're F6. That's good. Containment Construct. Petal. We'll make a red cast Gamble. You'll get a copy of Lines at Diamond. We'll auto yield to this and then say yes. Play the Diamond. So the question here is, do you break through before you echo? We'll say no there. And I think you're supposed to just spin the wheel. We picked up a new hand, but I can't cast that uh, breakthrough. We're awkwardly going to have to pass. Bobble them in their upkeep. There's a saga, and then we'll use this one. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Lotus Petal. Saga. Painter Servant. Yeah, do you have two more mana? Fury, that's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Okay. Draw some cards here. Bobble. Grid. Take a draw step. We have a couple Saga triggers. No one cares about that one. And then we'll tap this Saga for mana. Grab a Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's play Ancient Tomb. 
Defense grid. Okay, that's good. Play Opal. Tap this for a blue. We'll play... This is tough. Am I supposed to play the Construct or the Riddlesmith here? I think the Riddlesmith. Play the Bobble. Trigger. Yes. Damn. Discard the Ox. Add some red mana. Bobble them. We will escape the Ox of Agonis, leaving our Grape Shot. Okay. Triggers. Okay. We need to hit a Lion's Eye Diamond here. I wonder if I'm supposed to just play the Tormod's Crypt, because if I draw a Lotus Petal, that could do it. So let's just play the Crypt and loot. Flame Stoker does not help. Come on, deck, please give me a Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Bummer. We are dead on board. Okay, next one. So we probably want a Noxious Revival and the Grindstone. Haywire Might. Maybe Chain of Vapor. They are a four Mind Break deck sometimes out of the board. So we. Probably don't want to board out grid. Let's get rid of the Tormod script. Maybe take out Chromox. I mean, I don't think the spell bomb is particularly good either. Let's get rid of that. Try this out, I guess. If you wanted to, you could board out two bobbles instead of the Chromox. I think that is acceptable. Maybe we should do that. Okay. Game two, we're on the play. A little bit slow, but I think it's fine. Playline of the Void. Awkward. There's a Saga. Triggers. Petal. Petal. Bobble. Pass the turn. We get their top card. I guess it's the other Bobble, so we'll look at a random card in their hand. They have a Mox Opal. Cool. Mountain. Opal. Grindstone. Okay, we'll draw a card, another gamble, another containment construct. So I guess what we're hoping here is that our opponent plays a painter and passes. There's a saga. That's a painter servant. They name blue. All right, well, kill a bee looks intelligent right now with that cyborg grindstone. That's for sure. Take a draw. Chain of Vapor. So we even drew the out to ley line here. Quite a colorless. Okay. Go grab the grindstone. Chain of Vapor, your Mox Opal. Because the only way that they could do anything here is if they... No, that's actually dumb. Th this was a bad play. Ignore me. I could have done this better. That was bad. Yeah, I messed this up. We just have to grindstone them. Now they can blow up their own painter. I just wasted a red source and a chain of vapor. I could have definitely done better there. I tried to get cute and I was punished. Another opal. They're going to make a very large construct. Tap for mana. I think we just grab Haywire Might and hope to draw into a Mox Opal at some point. Play another construct. Yeah, I messed this game up pretty badly. They grab another copy of Grindstone. Painter Servant. The so Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, they have a Simian Spirit Guide in hand. Okay, they got me. Womp womp. We are now two in one. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Welcome back for match four. We're on the draw. We will keep. This hand is good. Not so good against the blue deck, but we're just going to try it out anyway. Not really sure what the opponent's playing. Mountain into Swift Spear. Okay, so burn. I like this hand against burn. Another copy of opal. Bobble, bobble, opal. Tap the opal for a blue. Play opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Sacrifice for blue. 
Spin that wheel. We still have a land drop plus two open mana. We will tap this for a red. Play the flame. I'm sorry. The vindicated. Vindictive. I've been saying it wrong this whole league. It's vindictive. Wow. Learn how to read Bryant. I just noticed. For some reason, I thought it was vindicated. <laughs> vindictive flame stoker. Okay. You know, reading's tough. Please forgive me. Uh, I mean, they don't teach reading in New York State. All right, play Mox Opal. Hers is Bobble. Play a Lotus Petal. Do I play the Spell Bomb? Probably. Okay. Now we can make some red. Use this ability. It's going to cost two, unfortunately. I mean, I could try instead to cycle the Spell Bomb here. Let's do that. Uh, well, that actually works out uh, because now I'm discarding this to the Flame Stoker. That actually worked out quite well. Play Petal. Tap for a blue. Play Opal. Keep the new Opal. Play Bobble. And I guess we play Sagas or Land for turn. Bobble them. Bobble them. It's nine cards in graveyard. We we want another. So we'll bobble them again. Okay. So now we have enough to use the ox. Actually, hold on. Let's use the bobble. Wonder if I should just flash back the echo. I don't know. We're gonna use the ox because I want to. Remove some of these cards we don't care about from the game. Spell bomb, the flame stoker. A bunch of the bobbles. We want to remove bobbles from the deck. I guess we can remove one copy of Mox Opal. We need to do another? Really? Another Opal, I guess. Okay, the Ox happens. We'll draw three. I can play the Containment Construct into a Breakthrough. But I would need to hit. We have three diamonds left in the deck. I think I'm going to take the chance. Play the Construct. Sacrifice for a blue. Breakthrough. Be there. Ayo, we did it. Auto yield. Yes, 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 yes. Firm is only 18, no big deal. We'll play an opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Tap the opal for a blue. Let's flashback Echo. Firm 21. Okay, um, we missed on more mana. I guess we'll break through. Draw four. Discard everything. Discard the echo first because then it's easier to figure out what I'm supposed to discard after that. We might have just fizzled. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we did just fizzle. All right, so we'll play the opal first. We have used a lot of bobbles this turn, so we're drawing a whole bunch of cards. And I only have one mana, so I can't play the Riddler. We just have to pass. All right, so we're drawing four. There's a diamond. We would have liked that off the breakthrough. Okay, so they're going to bolt my construct. That's fine. And they suspend a rift bolt. They swing in. I will block. They still have a 5-3 Ox on the battlefield. On their end step, let's use some Bobbles. Okay, so we're drawing three cards on our turn. One, two, a three. Saga goes up to two. Lotus Petal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Play another Construct. Versus Bobble. Let's cast Gamble. We'll grab another diamond. Yes. Play the diamond. Add blue. We'll say yes, yes. Sure. We'll say no now. Add three red. Flashback echo. I meant to, I, I added the wrong color there, but I think we'll be okay. Play the riddle smith. Play ancient tomb. We'll go to 17. Containment Construct. Triggers. Yes. Put Bobble under there. Whoops. 
I messed that up. My bad. I should have discarded the extra containment construct. That was a misplay on my part. We'll gamble. We'll get a diamond. Yes. Play the diamond. Trigger the Riddlesmith. Opal. Yes. Play the Opal. Yes. We'll gamble under there. And we can gamble for Grape Shot shortly and end this miserable game. <laughs> okay. Cast the gamble. Grab the Grape Shot. Yes. Play the Chrome Ox. Yes. Get rid of the Containment Construct. Yes. Hide the gamble. Make some blue. Yes. Yes. Break through. Discard all of them. Yes. 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 Okay. We got there. Game one over burn. Likely want the Slaughter Pact. We want Chain of Vapor. Get rid of the Tormod's Crypt. Maybe one copy of Defense Grid. They can sometimes be a Mind Break deck, but it's not like Defense Grid is super good anyway, so I think this this is fine. This hand's just way too slow. Mulligan. This is a reasonable hand. Keep. Goodbye, Saga. Mountain. Ooh. I don't like that. Construct. Lines of Diamond. Goodbye, Construct. Opal. Chromox. No. Gamble. Grab an Echo. And let's spin the wheel while they're tapped out. They can't Red Blast me. We'll pass the turn. I cannot Slaughter Pact a Pyrostatic Pillar. That is very awkward. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to pick this one up and re sideboard and bring in that haywire mite that i didn't bring in because i thought that we didn't need it awkward the board down to one defense grid we'll be fine unfortunately no this hand doesn't do anything super meaningful kind of slow i think we're better off going to five in our five card hand Let's go to four. Here we go. Keep. Turn one spin plus one extra mana. Volcanic, Lotus Petal, Lines of Diamond, and Gamble. Grab the Echo of Aeons. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, or something like that. Okay, this is good. We'll play an Opal. Lines of Diamond. Oh no, I am so terribly sorry. So I had to sneeze and I muted and then I didn't unmute on accident. So we're in the middle of an echo turn. Um, my bad. And in the echo turn, I accidentally clicked no on grape shot. So we have to spin the wheel on echo again. I am so terribly sorry. Uh, no real excuse for me here. I kind of just misclicked. It happens. Okay. And now we have a tutor for the Grape Shot post echo again, so everything's okay. We already have a defense grid in play. I am so terribly sorry, uh, especially to Sean who paid for this donation deck, and I had to sneeze and just ruined everything, so I am sorry. Okay, and now we'll cast the Lethal Grape Shot. What kind of person has to sneeze while they're recording anyway? Just human garbage. That's who. Once again, sorry to Sean, sorry to all of you viewers. Uh, it happens. But we ended up winning. You missed like three minutes of the combo turn while I was just playing out artifacts. It's fine. Sorry. That will be the last time I apologize. But uh, we picked up a match win. We're three and one. Let's finish this strong with a four one in match five. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match 5, we're on the draw. It might seem crazy, but I kind of want to try this hand. 
We have two redraws with the Mishra's Bobble. We have a strong Saga plan with all these artifacts. What could possibly go wrong other than our opponent playing blue? Ornithopter. Are you on ninjas? Uh, Vindictive Flamestalker is actually pretty good here. Let's play Saga. Triggers. Got a red. Play the Vindictive Flamestoker. Play a Bobble. Trigger. Lion's Eye Diamond. The Diamond Resolves. Mishra's Bobble. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. I'm going to pass. If they try to kill it, we can always activate it at instant speed. They grab an island, so they are in fact on ninjas. And step brainstorm. They play a ponder. I was supposed to do this in their upkeep, and I missed it. I'll just bobble now. Ooh, another ornithopter on top. They did not shuffle. No blocks. Moon circuit hacker. Let's see what they wanted to draw here. Another copy of brainstorm. They play the Ornithopter. So now we're looking to draw one of our three defense grids here. Breakthrough. Volcanic and Ox of Agonis. Play the Volcanic. Let's break through for one. So that means that the Flame Speaker will cost one to activate. Breakthrough. And we hit the defense grid. Okay. Play the grid. If they daze here, I can pay for it. Grid. The Force of Will Pitching Brainstorm. Let's sacrifice this and we'll activate the Flame Stoker, drawing four cards. Let's try another grid. We have Urza Saga next turn to get a Lion's Eye Diamond, so I think that's the best move. Brainstorm in the main phase. They attack with the Moon Circuit and Ornithopter. Do you have another Nijitsu this turn? Underground C. Looks like they might. Yuriko. Cool, cool, cool. So they get plenty of card advantage, but it won't really matter because we're going to Echo on our turn anyway. They do get us to lose some life with the Yuriko flips. They just flipped another copy of Force of Will. Thankfully, the defense grid has us covered. They replay an Ornithopter and pass the turn. Draw step. Another copy of Containment Construct. Grab that beautiful Lion's Eye Diamond. Construct. And... We're just going to spin the wheel on Echo. We'll auto yield. No, and then yes. Spin the wheel. You could have Ox of Agonist first, but you'd have to hit... Three, you'd have to hit two mana in three cards. So, I don't know if I love those odds. Lion's Eye Diamond... Actually, that was a small mistake there. Okay. I think I was supposed to sit on the diamond. That's my own fault. Play the Chromox. We'll imprint a breakthrough. Play the Riddlesmith. Fisher's Bobble. Trigger. Yes. Get rid of the Ancient Tomb, I guess. Yes. Use the diamond. Yes. Yes. Gamble. We'll go get another copy of Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. We'll play the diamond, which creates a Riddler trigger. Yes. Love seeing the bobble here. Diamond resolves. We'll play another bobble. Gamble is such a good hit that gives us another echo. Gamble again. Yeah, we'll grab echo. We do not want to use the construct ability. Add three blue. And then we're going to spin the wheel floating a blue because we have the breakthrough over here. This game should just be over now. We have enough spells in hand to just go set up the grape shot. Okay. They're at 17. Play an opal. Carmot's Crypt. From 14. So many triggers with this deck. Measure's Bobble. I won't pretend that I played this league perfectly. I just want to throw that out there. I made plenty of misplays. And we are still, you know, looking pretty solid at the moment. We're 3-1. We're likely going to win this game. Let's just add some red here. We'll say yes. I just want to get this show on the road. Cast Gamble. 
Go grab the grape shot. Make sure to click yes this time. And grape shot for lethal. Sweet. Up a game over ninjas. Likely want the defense grid. We don't really need the Tormod script. I don't know how good Spellbomb is in this matchup. I kind of want to get rid of that. I've seen some lists in the past with Null Rod, so I am interested in the Chain of Vapor. I think that this looks fine. You could board in the Silence. Very heavy blue deck. Maybe shave one Chromox. Submit. Turn one defense grid. We have Urza Saga for Lion's Eye Diamond. A little bit slow, but we have it. I think we'll keep this. Might be better to start on Saga too. So that way your grid doesn't get potentially dazed. Flooded Strand. Underground Sea. Craft Digger's Cage. We did board in the uh, Chain of Vapor. This isn't common from my experience. I think I'm going to just start on the grid. And that resolves. That's a good sign. Why didn't I play the Bobbles? What am I doing? What am I doing over here? If there is a game three, after seeing the cage, I will bring in the Haywire Might. But this was not a card that was on my radar. They play a Prismatic Vista. And they pass the turn. A little upset at myself that I didn't use those uh, bobbles. I think we should just play out the Saga here. Pass the turn. Swing with your Ornithopter. Sure thing. No blocks. Yuriko. They flip a Force of Will. Well, that's just mean. I mean, they set it up with Brainstorm. I get it. Okay, we'll bobble them. And bobble them. So we're going to draw three cards, and we hit the Chain of Vapor. That was amazing. So I want to play the Riddler here. The problem is I don't have the colored mana to do everything that I want. So I think we're just going to play the Riddlesmith. Mishra's Bobble. Trigger. Yes. Discard the Opal, I think. So you could go for it this turn, but it'd be a little risky. You could have discarded the Breakthrough and then Chain of Vapored your own Opal, sack a land, bounce the grid, hope that your opponent doesn't copy it and bounce the defense grid. It would have just been a little messy. They're going to fetch in their upkeep. Let's use the Bobble. So they're drawing a land here. No blocks. They flip over a Ponder. So we know that they have Delta, Force, Ponder in hand. Two unknowns. They play the Ponder. They did not shuffle on the Ponder. Snuff out's my Riddler. That's not very kind. Surgical's my Riddler. So we know that they have Force of Will and one other card. I don't know how we're going to beat that Force in their hand. Draw Bobble. That was a good one. Draw for turn. I think we'll go to eight here. Let's make a construct. Grab another diamond. Ancient tomb. Play diamond. And I think we're just going to pass. I don't need to run directly into a force of will. If our opponent's smart, what they do there is they just let the chain of vapor on the cage resolve and then force of will my gamble target, which would be echo. They swing with the thopter, no blocks. Moon Circuit Hacker, the only ninja they could have there that would get through the defense grid for one mana. I'm at six, and now they have a Yuriko trigger. Force of Negation, so now they have double force effect in their hand. They replay Ornithopter. Not looking good for us. Draw. Well, then. Okay. What does this do? We know that they have Force of Will plus Force of Negation. Actually, I don't even know if that Grape Shot was a good draw. We'll go to one. Target my own Lotus Petal. They're going to fetch. I think they have me here. They had another Force of Negation in hand. Yeah, I don't think I can win. I could break through for two, sacking both LEDs. I suppose that's an out. And then we'll add blue-red. 
That doesn't do it. Okay, we'll go to game three. Graph Digger's Key. Okay, so we'll bring in the Might, board out the other Chromox. I wonder if we want the Empty. Maybe get rid of a Flame Stoker. Submit. On the play for game three. We're an artifact short, but I think I want this hand anyway. We'll play Saga, triggers, Lion's Eye Diamond. We also know that they have Force of Negation and Force of Will now. Opal, pass the turn. Flooded Strand, Underground Sea into Changeling Outcast. They have five in hand. Another Saga, pass the turn. Ponder on the stack. I'm trying to figure out what our game plan is here because I'm not sure if we can beat a force, yet alone double force, with what we currently have. Take a draw. Saga 3. Sure. I wonder if we're just on, like, the construct plan. Grab a bobble. Play Saga. Make a construct. Pass the turn. We did see that in game two, they left in snuff out against me, so I don't love the construct plan, but I don't know if our plan beats anything else. I am not allowed to block. Yuriko, that's fine. Underground C, and Urkel's Recall, I don't love that. We're in trouble here. Let's bobble them. Okay, it's now or never. Draw off the bobble. Ancient tomb, draw for turn. Grape shot. Grab another diamond. Wish we could have drawn a protection spell at some point. Gamble. Pick up Echo. I think we want to play the ancient tomb. Blue. And then red. Escape the ox. And it looks like I'm going to have to escape a Lion's Eye Diamond here. Oh no. This is not a good spot to be in. It's either double Lion's Eye Diamond or the Grape Shot. We do have an empty in our deck, but I don't know if I love that. I think it's got to be the LED. Okay. Brutal. And they're going to force the Ox. We'll attempt to flashback the Echo. From four, three cards in hand. They snuff out in response. We hit the empty. That was a really good flip here. A really good hit, I should say. So I could play the Riddle Smith, but we don't have Metalcraft, so I feel like we're sacrificing a lot by doing so. One of the concerns I have here is that the empty line it, it makes 18. I'm sorry, 16, so it's not even that good. Okay, I'm going to play the Riddlesmith. Resolves, Bobble. We get at least one trigger off it. Yes. Discard Saga. We've already played a land, I believe. Opal. Yes. Okay, that was good. Oh, we're still short. One mana. I didn't realize. So now we need to hit a mana off the... No, we're not short. The land taps for mana. I'm a dummy. Yes. Discard the Echo. Lotus Petal. Yes. Discard Gamble. Fisher's Bobble. Yes. Discard Diamond. Empty the Warrens. 24 Goblins. We're not clear yet. So we're at a healthy life total. We're at 13. But Yuriko could still kill us here. All right, so we're going to end up with 24 goblins when our opponent's done letting this resolve, and then we're passing the turn. Okay. Upkeep will bobble them. Draft Tigger's Cage. Urza's Bobble. Moon Circuit Hacker. Urza's Bobble. Baleful Strix. They play and activate a Prismatic Vista very quickly. They had Plague Engineer? Oh! <laughs> Brutal! Wow! No blocks. I thought for sure we had that. 
Rough. Yeah, our opponent just has us with the cage. I can go get Haywire Might with the Saga, but they have a force by now. Okay, so we do get to draw four cards for turn, essentially, with these bobbles. Draw. We'll add a mana. Grab Haywire Might. Where did it go? Oh, it can't enter from libraries with the cage. Ah, so I, I just messed up. I just messed up. I was supposed to try to draw into it with the Riddlesmith if that was it. I should have gotten a Lion's Eye Diamond. That's on me. Okay. I did not play this that well. I feel like this match could have been won by a better player. I'm just going to concede. I can't flash back Echo with the Graftigers in play. I just punted there. Um, I don't know. I think the grindstone was fine. That was better than I expected. I think that some of the stuff in the sideboard is still a little bit weird to me, like one walking blows to one surge note, but the main deck felt very, very good. I liked the flame stoker, even if I can't say its name correctly. Um, yeah, I loved the main deck. The ox of Agonis was fine. I thought that was a reasonable target. Just some of the cards in the board I'm not so sure about, but I've been wrong before in my life. It's entirely possible uh, that they're all just fine. Thank you for watching. I know this was a little bit of a brutal one, but we did get to see Vindictive Flame Stoker be pretty darn good. I think that was sweet. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Keep storming all that good stuff. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.